back to my channel again. Today we are going to watch about the matcha. What is matcha? Matcha is a flavored drink, not a flavored drink. It's a herbal tea, which recently in a 10 years it came all over the world. Before only in the Japan or Korea, people stay having the matcha and their tradition from their ancestors' time. So they are following the rituals about the matcha and everything. Now matcha is spread all over the country where there is no matcha tea there is matcha latte matcha pastries matcha pastas i don't know what we matcha will be doing in future but right now i came up to only the matcha latte and matcha pastries flavor pastries and regular matcha tea as well but now we are going to see about the matcha we need to have more information about the matcha how it's grown which are the families back of that how it's been like preserved by the masters who know the real flavor the aroma and the taste around about that and after that how the matcha has been packed in the factories and how it has been dispatched to the entire world matcha is very cheaper in japan and korea but outside of those countries it's very high cost product which is very costly matcha usually because matcha is farming is done very small production and it's need very comfort technology on that one which the machines cannot calculate only the masters who know about the matcha from their family from the ancestors they follow the ritual and only those people are there to grow about where searching about documentaries and all i found out one uh, similar uh, person who his ancestors have from very long time they have tra following the traditionally matcha farming and at that time there was some korean and some other nationality they had been partnership and they have been doing from long long years at that time um, there was like freely matcha was used but now matcha costs a lot of money but yes uh, they are the very old families and their um, families uh, rituals are being following by growing those matcha following the flavor texture the farming uh, and the entire work beyond that as same as before they are following it that way we are we will watch about them soon and let's begin then So in the early 9th century, traveling Japanese monks brought the tea seeds back from China. However, tea history in Japan really began in the 12th century when Zen Buddhist master Isai wrote the book How to Stay Healthy by Drinking Tea. He opened with the sentence, tea is the ultimate mental and medical remedy, has the ability to make one's life more full and complete. The increased mental clarity and the climbing effects from the matcha enhance the monk's meditation and ability to focus on the spiritual practices. Today's tea ceremony is available everyone and the ancient principles established by Zen Buddhist monks still remain the essences of purity, harmony, tranquility and respect Japan's long-standing tea families continue to embody those some principles one of these long standing families is the honda family
私はお茶の品質管理監修教育をし日本の抹茶のマーケットを広げるためにインターナショナルの視野を広げてきましたそして私の友人と知り合い A&G ジョンと知り合うことができました When I first started looking at the, the matcha business, I thought it would be prudent to include a longtime friend and, and Japanese business associate, Kenny Sambopria. When we first were reviewing the opportunities, we found that there were two interesting components. One is that my family's long history in, in Japan and my personal relationship with Kenny were crucial. And the reason for that was that uh, Kenny was in fact the person that introduced me to Kazunori Honda. Kazunori Honda is, is our tea master and he is the person that has developed the unique blends of tea that we have under the Domacha brand. My family's involvement in Japan started in 1891. Uh, my great grandfather traveled from China with his best friend Mr. George and um, decided that uh, they would start a business. And uh, at, in 1891, my great-grandfather was actually the vice, U.S. Vice Council in China, and he felt that the business opportunities in Japan were significant. So in 1894, they started a company called Andrews and & George, and it was the first foreign-owned trading company in Japan, and uh, it was very well-known and very, very respected. And in fact, my mother used to travel to the Imperial Palace with my grandparents to hang out with the uh, crown prince while my grandparents, the emperor, his wife, and um, their guests would play several rounds of bridge. Uh, Andrews and & George was also the company that introduced the first car into Japan in 1902. It was a Ford and it was for a very wealthy business, a Japanese businessman. At that time, Japan was, was automobiles were obviously not part of the scene as it was the first car the roads were designed for a horse and cart so the tires had to be wrapped in a very heavy heavy leather uh, to protect the rubber. Kikuman soy sauce is, a, is another product that most North Americans are aware of and in fact it's a global product and, and that uh, product was introduced into the North American market by Andrews and George. That type of legacy is, is the reason that we were able to gain access uh, and some access to the inner circles of the Japan Tea Association and some of the individuals involved with that. Kazunori Honda is one of those individuals. And in fact, my business relationship with uh, Mr. Honda would not be where it is today if it were not for my early family history in that part of the world. え、霧の立ち込める朝晩の寒暖の差のある所がいいと言われています。畑作りには、え、スプリンクラーなり水はけの環境を良くし、え、3年ぐらいかけた有機質肥料の土を作って、それを畑に使うことが一番いいとされています
the sunlight to the tea plant and forces chlorophyll up up very top to the utmost levels turning the leaves into vibrant green and adding to the sweetness So hand picking is done under the bamboo shading and it's a very gentle process which can be performed by workers of all ages. Baskets are used to hold the leaves to prevent crushing when the fields are ready. Tea cutting machines make their way down to the long rows taking off only top young leaves after picking the leaves are vigorously washed in a deep tub of water and then rinsed once they are cleaned by the continued raining while making their way through conure belt process finally the leaves arrives at the air dryer where they truly tumbled and dried and they, they are taken to the cold storage to await processing so before the tea leaves destinated for matcha are ground into fine powder. They are truly examined by the tea master for the texture, color, taste and smell. First the color and fragrance of the leaves are compared. Is it a pure green or does it have a hints of yellow or brown? Does it smell ardi or vegeta or almost all types of tea come from the same plant? The camilla senses whether the white or long green or matcha these teas are differentiated by their growing harvesting and processing methods the next step in the analysis is to slip the tea leaves into but hot water but not a boiling water bringing out their full aroma different grades of tea leaves will bring out the varying grades of quality and in the case of matcha the variances are the many it takes a skillful eye and experienced palate to distinguish the many nonsenses and create the perfect blend of matcha. When considering which tea leaves to blend for matcha, the role of a tea master is much like a role of a vintner who chooses specific grapes to make the perfect bottle of a wine. Once the leaves are truly fused, the resulting liquid is analyzed for its flavor is it a smooth tasting or slightly bitter does the taste linger on the tongue and for how long but in fact the predominant flavor in matcha is known in culinary circles as the fifth flavor or a umami distinctly distinct difference between from the other four flavors of salty sweet bitter and swar the matcha is whisked up in a hot water using a traditional bamboo whisk and the resulting color and smell are compared bitter quality matcha will have a vibrant green color while lower grades will have a yellow green or brown shade to them finally the flavor of the matcha is confirmed higher grades of matcha such as ceremonial should be smooth tasting and full of eline and amino acid that improves mental clarity lower grades will be more bitter tasting having less eline but still high in antioxidants called cacaeans. There are many health benefits. Matcha may raise your energy level for up to 4 hours while creating a state of calm mental alertness due to the alanine found exclusively in green tea. It may also boost your metabolism up to 40% in regular consumers and it contains up to 137 times more EGCG antioxidant than step green tea it may also help regulate healthy blood sugar levels support healthy cholesterol levels within a normal range act as a strong blood de detoxifier and alkalizer and support healthy teeth and gums We are very close to Ujimiban, so our now is 
very rich in soil. And the climate is perfect for tea because it's very cold in winter and hot in summer. Old man brought seeds from China to Japan and Chikuji was the first place they planted tea. We bring in the wrapped tea using trucks. Then we unload the tea using pottery, getting ready for the inspection before processing. Our whole factory is operated under ISO 22000, an international standard of safe manufacturing of food. That means our whole factory line is perfect plan. Now we see the final processing and packaging. Once the tea leaves have been unloaded and inspected, they are set along on cornier belt to be cut into smaller pieces and sorted. The leaves go through a destimming and denying process and are there separated by size, dough and aggregation method. So 100 years ago, sorting used to be done by hand and even further back, the destrimming was done by chopsticks. The result is dark green perfectly sized de-steamed and dain tea leaves called tena as mentioned separating stems and twigs from the tea leaves used to be done by hand and was extremely labor in intensive greedy. The leaves to make matcha was also carried by hand using small individual stone grinders. Today the grinding is performed using the state of the art technology and however the small slow gentle methods are still applied in fact. It takes one hour of stone grinding to produce a one ounce tin of matcha powder, granite stone which have been the stone choices for over 800 years continue to be used when producing authentic Japanese matcha to turn the tea leaves into powder. They are first funded between two large stones as one stone slowly rotates on top of other the leaves become gently crushed and the final result is an expressional vibrant green and finely ground powder. The fresh matcha is then scooped into a bean and quickly transported to the packaging department where it's immediately packed and sealed. Large bags are used to pack bulk ingredient grade matcha which is generally destined for food service outlets such as coffee and tea bars. The finished products tins with their vacuum seal locks are more commonly found at the retail store. The Japanese tea ceremony is not just about drinking tea, it's a spiritual experience focusing on ritual and simplicity. The host has taken a special care to prepare the room for the honored guests. The utensils are cleaned and prepared for serving tea. The host does this with graceful moments and intent. Next, he prepares the tea for each guest. He makes a paste first, mixing the two scoops of matcha and a little hot water. More water is added to the matcha bowl and then using the chasing a special whisk made out of bamboo, the host vigorously whisks the soupy mixture until a foamy fourth. After the present, he prepared the bowl to his guest. The first guest admires the bowl and rotate it before taking a drink. The guest wipes the ball and each guest in a turn repeats this.
documents every step of a Japanese tea ceremony as a proof of deeper meaning and artistic going back hundreds of years. After the guests have taken a drink of matcha, the host will rinse and clean the utensils again. It can take years of practice to master the arts of Japanese tree ceremonies. Even after acquiring numerous certificates, students can spend their lifetime in pursuit of perfection. The future is excellent. Um, most of the world consumes green tea and, are, and is aware of green tea, but uh, there is there's a large percentage of people that are just learning about matcha or don't know anything about it. So I think that the opportunities are, are excellent. Uh, in fact, we are just entering into the Russian market, the German market, the Brazilian market, and the Finnish market. So I think uh, the future is very exciting. Matcha was actually exactly the same for the last 1,000 years. And I believe it will be the same for the next 1,000 years. But we will keep changing to adjust to the modern life. About 10 years ago, I never thought people in North America would enjoy matcha, but these days, Everyone around the world enjoys so much and I'm very excited and glad about it. Matcha, often called the exiler of life in the Japanese culture, is more than a just a beverage. It's a journey into a centuries of a tradition and a wellness. Originated from the vibrant green tea leaves, meticulously grown and stone ground, matcha offers a unique blend of earthly flavors and a powerful dose of antioxidants. With its rich history, interviewed in a Zen Buddhism, every sip of matcha embodies mindfulness and tranquility. So, whether you are savoring in a smooth taste or appreciating its health benefits, let matcha not just be a drink but a moment of serenity in your day. So, feel free to comment down below about what is thinking about your matcha and how the drinks and the recipes if you can send it just link down to my any of my insta youtube or the side one the tiktok you can any of them just comment below see you soon with next exciting videos thank you